English by the Nature Method, Chapter Twenty Four, the Twenty Fourth Chapter, Getting Money for the Trip. Well, have you made any plans for our trip? Mister Miller asked the boys on the next English evening. Oh yes, we have made many, and we have something good to tell you. Woods' manager will let him have two weeks' holidays this summer. We have been thinking of how much that trip will cost, and we have also asked about the tickets. We know how much it would cost us to go to England and back, but we do not know how much it would cost to stay for two weeks in England. Could you tell us about that, Mr. Miller? Yes, two weeks in London at a hotel that is both good and cheap will cost about fifteen pounds for each. Have you got so much money? What fifteen pounds? That is much. I haven't got so much money, Brown. I think we shall all have to try to earn some extra money, for we have very little. I am afraid. Storm, when I spoke to the manager at the office, this is the office, about our trip to London, he was very interested. He said that the firm would be glad to have a young man in the office who knew something about the English and England. He said that such a man would always be of great use to a big firm, and he ha- and he gave me to understand that the firm would give me some of the money for the trip. So I do not think that I shall need to s- to earn extra money for the trip. Brown, must be a fine thing to work for a firm like that. But I will tell you something about the bookshop where I work. If one of us gets a good idea for the shop and it is used by the manager, we are paid well for it. And I have an idea. It's just the right time now to speak to him about it. I will tell you all about it. Then you can tell me what you think of it. Perhaps you know that some bookshops have a library. There are many people who would like to read, but they cannot afford to buy many books because the prices are so high. But at a library, they can borrow books for next to nothing, and after they have read the books, they bring them back again. At the back of the shop, we have a small extra room, which could be made into a library where people could read for a short time to see what books they want to borrow. In this way, many people who cannot afford to buy the books they would like to read can get all the books they want without paying very much. But we should get. Some money out of it. Besides, when people come in to borrow books, they would also see all the other things we have in the shop, so that perhaps we could sell them some of these things too. There are four other bookshops in our street, but this idea has not been tried by any of them, and it would be a good thing for us to be the first shop to take it up. This is the street, and. That's a library where people read books. Mister Miller, that is a very good idea. I am sure that it will be a good thing for your shop, and you would sell more books because people would learn to read good books, and that would bring more people to the shop to buy them. Brown, yes. And I would write letters to the people who live in our part of the town to tell them about new books and to invite them to read books in this cheap way. I will take this idea to the manager tomorrow. I am sure he will use the idea, and then I shall be able to afford the trip because he always pays well. My manager is a man of modern ideas. He is always looking for something new, and he is not afraid to try something very modern if he thinks it would bring more business to the shop. I think that he is a very clever businessman, the cleverest I know. He always knows the right thing to do to sell more. The managers of the other shops in our street are not half so clever as he is, and when the shops are almost empty, our shop is almost full of customers, and we are always busy all day. Sometimes we are so busy that we cannot find time to have our lunch because there are customers coming in. All the time, so that our shop is never empty. I hope I shall be just as clever a businessman when I get older. But I am afraid there are many things for me to learn first. Mister Miller, it's a good thing to work for such a clever businessman, for you can learn much from him 
and get cleverer yourself. Well, how about you, Wood? You have been so quiet all the evening. What is wrong, Wood? I've been thinking that perhaps I shall have to stay at home. There's no way for me to earn extra money at our office, and besides, there is so much work to do there that it would be difficult for me to take any other work in the evenings. I don't know how to get the money. I don't like to borrow it because my salary isn't very high, and it would be difficult for me when the money had to be paid back. I think my salary is too low for all the work I do. Brown, why don't you ask your manager for a rise? For a raise? Of salary. Then, oh, I couldn't do that. I haven't been there for a year yet. And besides, I have just asked him for longer holidays. Brown, you can at least try. If you cannot earn the money you need in some other way, you must try. Go to him tomorrow and ask for a raise. Tell him how much work you do and what you are going to spend the money on. Would? Well, I don't like to ask for a raise, but I will try. If I can't earn a higher salary, I don't see where I shall get the money from. I'm not full of ideas like Brown. My hair is empty. Mr. Miller, don't let us stoke any more of it tonight. It's getting late now, I'm afraid, and besides, my wife is already waiting with the coffee. Next time we shall know whether you will be able to afford to go or not, and then we will speak more about our plans. Mrs. Miller, please come and have coffee. A cup of hot coffee will do you good. Now that you have to go out into the cold night. Yes, thank you very much, the young man answered. Brown? Hot coffee is a very good thing on a cold night, and we should all like very much to speak English with you, f with you for a few minutes. Mrs. Miller, we know from your husband that you speak English well, and that you like that language as much as we do. Mrs. Miller, yes, my husband and I like English so well that we often use it when we are alone together. 